Welcome to Peace in It Together 15, and I just wanted to throw my hat in the ring here and talk about Elon, who I do not trust, Musk, who, and again, also NPR, who I absolutely find despicable. There was a time period when I was commuting to work, and I thought that NPR was like kind of interesting because they'd occasionally interview someone good. Now, if I even that was like ten years ago. Now, if I even turn it on or flick by it, I get immediately nauseous if I hear anyone on that station's voice because they are just truly disgusting. I do not consent to even one penny of my tax dollars going to that scumbag company. And either way, I just saw this today. A space jellyfish soared over Florida thanks to the SpaceX launch, which is perfect framing of these absolute scumbags and typical of their word just nonsense that they always use in order to make things that are terrible out to be amazing and heroic and just absolutely astounding. And why is it that Elon Musk gets to do this stuff to us? Like if any of us decided to send some kind of balloon emitting some weird gaseous explosions into space or even light off a firework in our backyard, we'd get arrested. But this guy can set off rockets that produce these massive light shows. I don't know if there's things busting out of the firmament, things cracking out against the firmament, or just him basically creating a massive, expensive, probably taxpayer-funded, commuter-generated computer -generated here landing or just a firework show of absolute nonsense and toxic chemicals. Who, who gets to check what this guy, who's regulating what this guy is dumping into our world and what he's experimenting with? This guy created a massive sky jellyfish and this isn't the first time with his like ridiculous launches and his starlings and his all this stuff. How do we know that he's telling us the truth? Who is there to check this punk and keep him in check? from doing something catastrophic. How's to say he's not dumping a toxic gas all over the coast of Florida? We know Florida's kind of a target now because they're bringing a lot of people in there, a lot of patriots, a lot of people that the government, current government and people around the world in power, scum, don't like. So, you know, I, I showed this twice and every time he does one of these landings, I always just immediately see it as a camera trick in reverse of a launch. Then you just change the settings. This guy does not fool me. I absolutely can't stand him in his rise. The way he insulted, like, just everything. Everything this guy does, nothing he's done has been uh, actually genuine profit. If it wasn't for the subsidies, Tesla would flop. Tesla, he just stole that name during a time when Tesla was rising, and he's absolutely pillaged it. He is not worthy of utilizing that name. Tesla, Nikola Tesla, was a hero. Elon Musk is a scumbag fraud. He is, whatever he's doing with Twitter, I'm not falling for it. I don't think it's good. I don't think anything this guy's doing is good. I do not trust him. Anyone that can do this in the way NPR makes it, oh, a nice jellyfish. There's more jellyfish in Florida now because of this massive sky dump that Elon Musk did. Ha ha, everybody. Look how cool it is. And they have their army of just morons on Twitter being like, whoa, super cool, techie, geek. I'm a sci-fi loser. This was awesome. What a cool show in the sky. Meanwhile, invisible like poisons and toxins are raining down on the people of Florida into the water, into the ocean, getting gobbled up by bugs and fish that love microscopic particles, that love new things. Who is there to regulate this guy? Put this guy in check immediately. We the people need to keep Elon in check because I don't trust him and I know a lot of you don't either. Screw this guy. His dad was a technocrat monster. His mom's a witch. He has just, uh, he's been in several plane crashes where people in his company have passed away. People he's been close to and done business with have died and he's been fine. I do not trust him. Definitely question anything you see in the sky, especially from Musk. And also, I love it, but they show it right in this picture, the rockets that never go to space. And I'm not sure exactly what this one was supposed to do. I don't know what it was supposed to just do the loop. But most of the ones that they're like, oh, this rocket's going to space, follow the same trajectory. Look at it, up and then right back down. And then this one kind of blasted off. The jellyfish happened to start right as it was kind of en route on the way down. And again, look at that, boom. There is no way that these puppies are getting into space, no matter who's making the tech. Every rocket follows the same trajectory. Start to realize it, everybody. The scam needs to end. Bless you all.